Hey, it's Mark from Ripple Training. So, recently we posted a 60 second quick tip video in which I showed you how you can use Final Cut Pro's built in transitions to animate connected clips, things like logos and titles. The basic idea there is that a lot of them don't work correctly. In fact, I'll show you right here, I'll animate the Ripple logo on with the radial blur transition. You'll see it animates the video as well. The flip transitions even works. And how about combo spin? Well, you get the idea. So in that video, I showed you how you can fix that with a single click in motion. And while that's true with some of the blur transitions, the other transitions take a little bit more work. So this week on Mac Break Studio, I thought I'd dive a little deeper and show you how you can fix some of those other transitions and how you can fix all of them at once. So here in Final Cut, I have the Transitions Browser open. I have the Blurs category selected, and this is our offending transition, the radial blur. I have it applied here. You can see by the name of it up in the inspector. And if I drag across it, you can see, in fact, that it blurs both the underlying video as well as our logo. So in that last video, I explained if you open a copy in motion and then turn off the Transition A placeholder, Command S to save, Command W to close, Command Tab to go back to Final Cut, and then you take that copy and replace the existing one, only the logo will blur. And I can change the center to put it right in the middle of the logo. And that's all true, but there's a little more to it. For example, the same one won't work for animating off the screen. It will do the wrong thing. So what you need to do for the outgoing transition is open another copy, turn off transition B and save. Now, you also notice that the name of what I saved was called radial copy and it was in the same category. You probably want to save these somewhere else. So if you've opened it in motion, made a change, you can choose file, save as, and then you can give it its own category. So I can just call this uh, my connected clip transitions. Nice long name. And then I can name this radial blur out and publish it. Close it, go back to Final Cut, and now it'll appear in this new category and I can apply it and move the center point over and it will work correctly. If you had already saved one in the current place, like this one here, another option is you can right click, choose Reveal and Finder, command click to go up a level, and then you can take that copy, obviously I've got two now because I opened the second one, which we don't need anymore. I can command delete that, but I could take this one, I can rename it. You wanna rename both the transition itself as well as the folder. And then we can go up one more level so that I can open it and see it. And then I could take that and move it into my connected clip transitions. And then it'll take a restart for it to appear in the right place. You can see it looks like they're gone. Uh, but if you restart, it'll, it actually shows up here right away. So they're both in the new category I created, but it'll take a restart to get rid of these things that look like they're offline or not available. So that's the first thing to know. There's a few more steps in that you need to create an in version and an out version and save them somewhere, even if they're fairly easy to fix. Now, that process of turning off the placeholder works for four of these blur transitions, but a couple of them, if you try to do it to simple, if you right click, you can't open it in motion. If you right click on zoom and pan, you can't open it in motion. So those two, you have to recreate from scratch. If we move to the dissolves category, the cross dissolve, you can't open it in motion. The divide transition works correctly, both for in and out without any modification, which is nice. Fade to color and flow really don't make sense to use as transitioning a connected clip because you need to fade to color to something or from something. And that simply doesn't make sense with a single clip. Uh, moving on in movements, these do not work on connected clips, but each one requires some more work to make it work correctly. For instance, let's look at black hole. So by default, obviously it doesn't do the right thing. Let's open a copy in motion. 
In this case, for the black hole transition to work on the incoming side of a connect clip, we need to move the filter from transition A to transition B. And it looks like nothing happens because we then need to reverse the keyframes. So I'll drag this keyframe over here. I'll drag this keyframe over here, all the way to the end. Then I'll hide transition A. And now we see transition B, which is our connected clip, emerging out. And that would allow a black hole to work on the incoming side of a connected clip. For the outcoming side, it actually already works as is. I'll save, save original, close, go back to Final Cut Pro. And we'll take the black hole copy and put it here. And now that it works correctly to reveal the logo, we can also change its center point to anywhere we want. And the original black hole works fine for the outgoing. And again, you can change the center point. So the point is with each of these, you actually need to analyze and try to figure out what's going on in order to make them work correctly on connected clips. If we go to the lights category, these built-in transitions are very cool, but they do not work on connected clips. And an example here is static. I've already applied it over here and you can see it just gets applied to the whole screen. It doesn't really work correctly. I've already opened a copy in motion. And in this case, it requires quite a bit more work. It's not only making the effect work on the correct placeholder, but you also need to mask the effect so that it only works on the alpha channel of, for instance, our logo. And the static needs to happen such that it warps that alpha channel and doesn't happen just within a circle. And I'll show you an example of a final one in just a moment. The point being here that many of these require quite a bit more work to figure out how to make them work on connected clips. And just for the sake of uh, being complete here, the other options that are built into Final Cut include these objects, and these do all work correctly on connected clips, although they're less likely to be useful because they're very specialized. The replicator clones category, these, most of them do not work on connected clips. A couple of them do, but they're missing some key features to really make them useful. There's a large category of 43 stylized transitions, but these are all based on some title themes and they're transitions that match those title themes. So I don't find these to be all that useful, but you can use them on connected clips. And then wipes, these 12 wipe transitions do work correctly on connected clips. But the bottom line is there's about 30 of them that don't work correctly on connected clips. And while you can go through and analyze them and make them work on connected clips and learn a lot about motion in the process, maybe you just want to have them all work. Well, that's what RT Transmations is all about. With RT Transmations, we took 33 of the built-in transitions and modified them to work with connected clips. Now you can quickly and easily animate text, logos, graphics, anything in a connected clip without affecting the underlying video. So if you've worked with the built-in transitions and found they don't work, you go to RT Transmissions and we have blurs, dissolves, lights, movements, and replicator clones. If I go back up to lights and I take static in and put it on here, it animates the video as well. You can see that now works correctly and the static animates that logo on, and the off works as well. So we've taken all the built-in transitions that don't work on connected clips and make them work on connected clips and left the ones that already work alone. Our T transmissions are $29, but they're currently on sale for $15. So if you just wanna grab all those transitions and have them work on connected clips, that's the easiest thing to do. I hope you found that useful. Please leave us a comment below. We'll see you next time here on MacBreak Studio.